What's up YouTube, Jeff back again to another very exciting Samsung video for you guys. Today, we're talking about one of the features that Samsung included in One UI 6.1.1 that uh, isn't really one of the most maybe sexiest features out there in the sense that it doesn't add any new customization, it doesn't add any new productivity, it doesn't add any new performance, but it does enable some privacy and security features. And if you enable it incorrectly, you can also end up harming your device's usability in the sense that uh, some of your features that you're expecting to work will not work. So I'm gonna show you guys uh, what it is, talk about it today in detail so you're aware of how to use this feature if you decide to turn it on. Before we get started, I do wanna thank my four-year-old son, Jonathan. We've got the Parasol Olifus and the Bobcat hanging out over here today. Always appreciate him. If you guys haven't checked out our website yet, go to samiguru.com right now. We're covering the latest Samsung tutorials, news, updates, opinions, reviews, tips and tricks, all that good stuff. If you're in the US, you can also go to the website and sign up for our mystery box program. And if you decide to purchase a Galaxy S25 series device in January 2025, you'll get a free case, cleaning kit, desktop phone stand, other randomly inserted goodies, put in your phone number and your email, or just one, doesn't really matter. You can do one or the other or both. Uh, we cover shipping and everything. You get those goodies for free. You just use our affiliate link to place your order. That's how we pay for the products. That's how we pay for the shipping, etc. Hope you guys want to check that out. It'll be in the pinned comment and description. So Samsung added a new feature to auto blocker in One UI 6.1.1. Now auto blocker itself, if we scroll down to security and privacy, this has been enabled since One UI 6.1 uh, last year. And uh, this is a new feature that they basically gave you the ability to block certain you know, actions that could cause harm to your device if you're a casual user and you don't really know what you're doing. So if you go into auto blocker, You'll see here, if you turn it on, it blocks commands by USB cable, blocks apps from unauthorized sources, blocks malware images in messaging apps, and blocks software updates by USB cable. Now, typically, I have this turned on just to kind of show you guys what it does. I usually have this turned off because sometimes I want to sideload apps, and I usually do my due diligence about where they come from. Most of the time, I get my apps. If I choose to sideload them, they come from APK Mirror. Now, you may not be able to sideload apps as easily in One UI 7.0, we actually wrote a story about this on the website because in One UI 7.0, Android 15 from Google is actually imposing some new restrictions on what sideloaded apps can do. But anyway, I usually turn it off for that reason, but if you don't really know what you're doing and you're not sideloading apps, you're not installing firmware from USB cable like using your computer, in general, this is a pretty good thing to turn on for average users, and you're not going to ruin any of your everyday functionality like sharing photos or any of the things that you do with friends and family. However, the new feature in 6.1.1 is right here. It's called Maximum Restrictions. It says provides extra strong protection for people who need more security, but some of your phone's features will be restricted. And that's the key thing to understand. If you tap in here, I highly recommend turning this off unless you really think you need it. Maybe I would turn this on for like my grandmother or you know, someone who's older and doesn't really know what they're doing and might end up causing some harm to their device. But let's go through it. First of all, turns on app protection. So apps installed on your phone will be checked for malicious activity. Nothing really wrong with this point. Block device admin apps, prevents device admin apps and work profiles from being activated on your phone. This protects you from attacks where these features are used to access your data. So this actually will make it so that you can't install a work profile. So if you work for a company that requires that on your device, which I always would recommend using a separate work device. They need to provide you with one if you're gonna require this. Um, you wouldn't be able to load that work profile. Um, blocks auto downloading attachments. This means you can't automate the ability to download attachments uh, inside of your Samsung messages. As you can see, it says right here, this helps protect you from attachments that may contain malicious software. You can still manually download files attached to messages from people you trust. Now keep in mind, Samsung Messages is no longer really the default messaging solution on Galaxy phones, according to Samsung. They're pushing people over to the Google Messages application. So this will not affect Google Messages. So Samsung's a little disjointed here, which is interesting. Blocks hyperlinks and previews. Prevents preview images and hyperlinks from appearing when you receive a message that includes a web address. Helps protect you from accidentally visiting malicious websites. If you receive a message that contains a web address from someone you would trust, you'll need to copy and paste or type the web address in your browser. Um, removes location data when sharing pictures. Now this is a good one if you're sharing with people you don't trust. Uh, I don't really share pictures with people I don't trust, but if you don't share with your family and friends only, you might wanna have this on. There's a way to do this uh, outside of turning on this maximum restrictions. It's kind of overkill. I've made a video on that before. 
in the gallery, and uh, I'll drop the link below to that. In the gallery, it blocks shared albums, so you can't use shared albums at all. That's a pretty huge restriction, something most people don't want. want. And removes location data when sharing pictures. Again, that's done both in messages and in gallery. This is something you can do separately, like I said, though, and I'll drop the link below, because you don't need to turn on all of this stuff just to remove location data, which a lot of people want to do on a case-by-case -case basis and not for every photo, because if you share it with a family or friend, you might not care about removing that data. So, you know, a lot of these things like block hyperlinks and previews, um, the removing location data, blocking shared albums, takes away some of your functionality and enjoyment. Uh, I also find it very interesting that Samsung basically allows maximum restrictions to work only inside Samsung messages, especially when they're now pushing people to use Google messages and that's the default on many devices. These don't work with Google messages. So it's gonna be interesting to see if eventually they do enable maximum restrictions to work with Google messages, which looks like it's gonna be the default going forward on Galaxy devices. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. I recommend leaving this off, like I said, unless you absolutely need it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification icon for future videos like this. Again, check out sammyguru.com, get the latest news, tutorials, tips, tricks, reviews. We cover all the breaking news over there. Also get on the mystery box program if you're ordering the Galaxy S25. Appreciate you guys checking out this one, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.